Welcome to Miles with Mr. S. In this video, we're going to recognize the place value of each digit in a four digit number. So the first and most important thing is you've got to understand your place value. So here in this number, we have got four units. Then beside the units is always the tens. Then we've got the hundreds and then we've got the thousands. So units, then tens, then hundreds, then thousands. So this number has got four units. It's got three tens. It's got 200 and it's got 1,000. So we say this number, 1,234. So these numbers, again, you've got to be able to recognize what the value of each digit is. Well, this one's got five units, seven tens. It's got nine hundreds and it's got three thousands. Three units beside the units, always the tens. Six tens, four hundreds beside the tens always, and then two thousands so this one we've got three units nine tens four hundreds and seven thousands and the final one we've got three units eight tens we don't have any hundreds here but we need to make sure that we identify that this column would be the hundreds column and then we've got nine thousands so let's put this into practice into the activity so what we've got is 3,976 and we need to split it up into its component parts. So I look at this number and I think, right, how many thousands, hundreds, tens and units have I got? Well here, I always work my way across units, tens, hundreds, thousands. So I've got three thousands. So I've got three and then I need to put zero hundreds, zero tens and zero units because I'm gonna split it up into its four parts. So I've put the 3,000. Now I need 900. So I've got 900, but then I've got zero tens and zero units. That's what 900 would look like. Now how many tens have I got? I've got seven tens. And have I got any units with the 70? I wouldn't. And then finally the six units. So I've split this number up, 3,976, into 3,000 plus 900 plus 70 plus six will give me 3,976. So this, you need to be able to split it up into those component parts. So the next one, we've got 5,982. Well, we've got 5,982. And the more you practice this, the easier this will become, splitting the number up. So if I said to you, how many thousands are, you can go, well, there's 5,000. How would you write that? Five, zero hundreds, zero tens, zero units. And then it'll just become automatic the more that you practice this. So we've got 9,842, so 9,842. This one, 7,104. Well, 7,000, hopefully this is all becoming a lot easier. How many hundreds? We've got 100. Do we have any tens? I don't have any tens. And then I've got four units. You could do this in reverse as well. How many units have I got? I've got nine units. How many tens? I've got 40. How many hundreds? I've got six hundreds. How many thousands? I've two thousands. Whatever way works, but you need to be able to understand what the two is worth, 2,000. What the six is worth, 600. The four, 40, is four tens. And then finally, the nine is nine units. So splitting it up and recognizing 2,000 plus 600, plus 40 plus 9 will give you this number. So 4,058, so put my 4,000 first. I don't have any hundreds here because it's the thousands, hundreds, tens and units. And I'll repeat this a lot. It's so important that I recognize your place value. Any hundreds? No hundreds. Any tens? Yes, I've got five tens. And then any units? Yes, we've got eight units there. Now 8,005, well, I've got eight thousands. Don't have any hundreds, don't have any tens, and I've got five units. And understanding that units, tens, hundreds, and thousands, so, so, so important. So do this one in reverse. I've got how many units? I've got four units. How many tens? I've got three tens. How many hundreds? Two hundreds. Finally, how many thousands? I've got one thousand. So this skill of partitioning a number up into its component parts is super important. 
and you've got to recognize your units, your tens, your hundreds, and your thousands to be able to do this successfully. Now, putting that into practice, we need to come up with a number that is between 1,543 and 1,549 using the digits below here. Place value for this is going to be so important. So the way we do this is we always start with the biggest digit. So here, the number will need to be in the thousands. So if we look here, there is only one number that we can use, and it needs to be in the 1,000s. So if I put an 8 here, that will be more than 1,000. If I put a 5 here or a 4 here, it will also be more than 1,000. So the first digit in this number has to be a 1. Now we're looking at the second digit we work our way across, and it is a 500. So we need to put something in the hundreds column that will make sure that it is between 1,543 and 1,549. Well, if I put a 4, that will be less than 500. So 4 won't work. If I put a 5, that could work because it's in the 500. If I put an 8, that will be more than the 500, so it won't work on this side. So it has to be the 5. Now we've got two digits left. Now we look to the next digit across, which is the four tens. We need to put a number in the tens, which will mean it will be between 1,543 and 1,549. Well, if I put an eight there, that's going to be more than four tens. If I put a four there, it will work perfectly because it fits between, which leaves me with the final digit of eight. So I've got 1,548. Is that more than 1,543? Yes, it is. Is it less than 1,549? Yes, it is. So you must always start with the column or the digit that is worth the most. And in this case, it is the thousands. Then we work to the hundreds, then the tens, and then the units. So this is why the place value is so important. Recognizing that this number, the end on the far left, is worth the most. Now let's do three more examples, because this can be tricky to get. So we need a number between 5,924 and 6,239. So we always look at the first one, the thousands column in this case, to see what it is worth. We need to put a number in the thousands. If I put a 2 here, that would be 2,000, which is smaller than 5,000. So it cannot be a 2, cannot put a 3, I cannot put a 4, so it has to be the 6, because all of these thousands would be less than 5,000, and it needs to be between 5,924 and 6,239. So the 6 must go first. Then we look at the tens column. So it's 5,924... So it's 5,924 and 6,239. Well, if I put the 2 in there, that could potentially work because 6,200 would work. Whereas if I put a 3 in there, 6,300 would be too much, 6,400 would be too much. So it has to be the 2. Now we've got the 3 and the 4 next. So now we go to the next column, which is the tens column. So I need to put a number in here, which would be less than 30 and more than the 5,224. So it must be the 3, because if I put a 4 in here, that would be too much. 6,243 will be more than 6,239. So the 3 must go next, which means that the 4 has to be at the end. So 6,234 more than 5,000. 924 and less than 6,239. Two more. So we always look at this first digit, the thousands column. It is worth the most. So if we put 2,000, it's going to be far too small because it needs to be more than 7,000. 7,000 could work. 5,000 couldn't. 9,000 definitely couldn't work because that would be too much. 
So it has to be the 7,000. Then we look to the hundreds. So I've got 500 and I've got 600. So if I put two in the hundreds, that'll be too small because it needs to be more than 500. If I put five in the 500, that could potentially work. If I put nine in the hundred, that'll be 900, which is too big because it needs to be less than 600. So it has to be the five. Now we've got the two and the nine. So now we move to the tens. So we've got seven tens and we've got zero tens. The two isn't going to be big enough to be more than the seven tens. So it needs to be the nine, which means that the two has to go last. So let's just check 7,592. Is it more than 7,579? Yes, it is. Is it less than 7,604? Yes, it is. And the final one, between 9,276 and 9,372. Let's use these digits. So I'm looking here, always start here with the thousands. So it's 9,000, 9,000. Well, it has to be the nine. Because this would be too small, 7,000, 5,000, 3,000. So it has to be the 9,000. Then we look to the hundreds. We've got 200 and we've got 300. So 700 will be too much because this is 300. 500, again, too much. It's only 300, so it has to be the 300. So we'll put it in next. Then let's move to the tens. So this is seven tens and seven tens. So if you look at this, we've got seven tens here, but this is 200. So we could potentially put in a five here because it would be more than 9,270. It would be 9,350 something. Does that work? 9,370. Yes, it does. Because if we put the seven here, then it would be too big because it will be 9,375, and it needs to be less than 9,372. So the five has to go in the tens, and the seven has to go at the end. So let's just check it works. We have 9,357 is more than 9,276, and it is less than 9,372. Thank you for watching and don't forget the free worksheet and answers in the description or go to www.mathwithmrs.com